high above the clouds, where the earth scrapes the sky. The Himalayas stand as a symbol of timeless majesty. But beneath its peaks lies a terrifying secret, a silent threat building pressure for centuries. Scientists believe that one of the world's most powerful earthquakes is about to erupt from deep within this mountain range. What if an entire region, stretching from Nepal to northern India, could be devastated in just under a minute? Beneath the surface, a 2,400 kilometers long stretch of fault, known as the main Himalayan thrust, has remained locked since the 1500s, accumulating energy equivalent to hundreds of Hiroshima bombs. When it finally ruptures, the resulting megaquake could level cities, trigger massive landslides, and claim tens of thousands of lives in seconds. The 2015 Nepal earthquake was a stark warning, but it wasn't the big one. That quake didn't even rupture the surface. The truly catastrophic event still lurks in silence. Today, let's delve into the great Himalayan earthquake that is long overdue. We will explore the Himalayan megathrust, tracing its geological roots, the haunting history of past quakes, recent seismic activity, and what might unfold when the inevitable happens. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Himalayas, a majestic mountain range stretching over 2,400 kilometers across Asia, are a symbol of natural grandeur and spiritual reverence. But beneath their snow-covered peaks lies a volatile truth. They are the result of one of the most intense geological collisions on Earth. The Himalayas are the product of the relentless tectonic collision between the Indian Plate and the Eurasian Plate. This convergence began around 50 million years ago and continues to this day, with the Indian Plate pushing northward at a rate of approximately 18 to 20 millimeters per year. The immense pressure generated by this motion has not only formed the highest mountain range on Earth, but also created a vast and complex fault system beneath the surface. Chief among them, the main Himalayan thrust. The MHT is a megathrust fault that extends deep below the entire length of the Himalayan arc. It marks the primary boundary where the Indian Plate subducts beneath the Eurasian Plate. Structurally, the MHT lies beneath the Himalayas, at depths ranging from 5 to 40 kilometers, and serves as the source zone for the biggest earthquakes in the region. It is a locked fault in many areas, meaning the plates are stuck together and unable to slip past one another. Instead, stress builds over decades or centuries until it is released suddenly in a massive rupture. The Himalayan region has a long and tragic history of devastating earthquakes, many of which have left indelible marks on communities and landscapes. One of the earliest recorded events is the 1505 Low Mustang earthquake, which is estimated to have exceeded magnitude 8.0. This event likely ruptured a large portion of the central Himalayan arc, and geological evidence suggests significant surface displacement and widespread destruction. More recently, the 1897 Assam earthquake of magnitude 8.0 struck northeastern India, causing severe shaking across a vast area and triggering landslides and liquefaction. The 1905 Kangra earthquake of magnitude 7.8 in Himachal Pradesh claimed over 19,000 lives and remains one of the deadliest in Indian history. Another catastrophic event was the 1934 Bihar-Nepal earthquake of magnitude 8.0, which caused widespread devastation in eastern Nepal and northern India, leveling buildings in Kathmandu and Patna, and claiming over 10,000 lives. In 1950, the Assam-Tibet earthquake of magnitude 8.6 struck the eastern Himalayas, making it one of the largest continental earthquakes ever recorded. This quake ruptured a different part of the fault system, but demonstrated the immense power stored along the Himalayan arc. Despite these catastrophic events, several large segments of the MHT have remained inactive for centuries. The 650-kilometer stretch between the 1905 and 1934 rupture zones, spanning western Nepal and Uttarakhand, hasn't experienced a surface-breaking quake since at least 1505. 
Now, a major concern for seismologists, this seismic gap holds the potential for a magnitude 8.5 or greater earthquake, with the power to cause widespread destruction. In recent decades, seismic activity along the Himalayan arc has shown a pattern of moderate to large earthquakes that do not relieve all the built-up stress along the fault. The 2015 Gorkha earthquake of magnitude 7.8 is a case in point. Though it caused immense damage in central Nepal and claimed nearly 9,000 lives, the quake ruptured only a small segment of the MHT, approximately 150 kilometers, and did not reach the surface. Following the 2015 quake, geodetic and seismological monitoring revealed increased stress in adjacent segments of the fault, particularly to the west and east of the rupture zone. This phenomenon, known as stress transfer, can bring the neighboring segments closer to failure. Moreover, aftershocks and micro-seismic swarms have been recorded in the regions of western Nepal and Uttarakhand, areas that lie within the long-identified seismic gap. In 2025, a series of seismic events further underscored the region's instability. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck the Tibetan plateau near Shigatsa in January, causing deaths and damage, though it occurred on a different fault system. Around the same time, Myanmar experienced a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake along the Saga Ying Fault, again outside the main Himalayan thrust zone, but raising regional concern due to the activation of neighboring faults. Though recent quakes haven't occurred directly on the MHT, they reflect broader regional instability and the potential for connected fault activity. GPS data confirms the Himalayan fault remains locked in many areas, with the Indian plate steadily pressing northward at a steady rate, causing strain to accumulate. The continued absence of surface rupturing quakes only deepens concerns that a major rupture is imminent. When the Great Himalayan Earthquake finally strikes, the consequences could be catastrophic. A rupture along the central segment of the Himalayan megathrust may unleash a magnitude 8.5 or higher earthquake, producing ground displacements of several meters and shaking that lasts over a minute. The rupture could occur in a single massive event or as a cascading series of quakes. Either scenario would be devastating. Cities like Kathmandu, Dehradun, Rishikesh, and even Delhi could face violent shaking, with thousands of buildings collapsing, especially older structures not built to withstand such forces. The region's geology further amplifies the risk. Sedimentary basins can trap seismic waves, prolonging and intensifying ground motion. Landslides would likely blanket mountain roads, cut off communities, and dam rivers, triggering flooding. Liquefaction could destabilize entire neighborhoods. Infrastructure damage would be extensive, with roads, airports, power, and water systems paralyzed. Cultural heritage sites could be destroyed and emergency response systems overwhelmed. Economically, the cost could reach tens of billions of dollars. But beyond the financial toll lies a deeper humanitarian crisis. The densely populated regions of northern India and Nepal, home to over 200 million people, would face the brunt of the impact. Entire communities could be displaced, with lives upended and infrastructure shattered. In the worst-case scenario, hundreds of thousands of lives could be at risk, and recovery could take decades. If the Great Himalayan earthquake strikes, it could become the deadliest natural disaster in South Asia's modern history. Despite the scale of the threat, preparedness across the region remains uneven. Nepal, after the 2015 earthquake, made significant strides in public education, early warning systems, and building code enforcement. However, implementation remains patchy, particularly in rural areas. India has also invested in seismic hazard maps and school safety programs, but many critical structures remain vulnerable. Scientific research has advanced considerably. Organizations such as the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, National Geophysical Research Institute, and Kathmandu University have collaborated with institutions like Caltech, Stanford, and GFZ Potsdam to study Himalayan seismicity. These efforts include GPS networks, satellite-based in-SAR monitoring, and trenching studies. 
One promising development is the creation of earthquake early warning systems in India and Nepal. These systems use real-time data to issue alerts seconds before shaking arrives, providing a critical window to take cover or shut down sensitive infrastructure. However, the network is still limited in coverage and reliability. International disaster agencies such as the UNDP and World Bank have also provided funding for resilience building, including training for emergency responders and retrofitting of schools and hospitals. Yet, challenges remain in terms of funding, enforcement, and public engagement. The Himalayan region is on borrowed time. Scientific evidence makes it clear that a major earthquake is overdue in the central Himalayas, and the consequences of such a rupture could be unprecedented. While the exact timing remains uncertain, the convergence of tectonic plates and historical patterns point to a looming disaster. That said, not all hope is lost. Continued investment in science, monitoring, public awareness, and resilient infrastructure can significantly reduce the damage and loss of life when the earthquake eventually occurs. The Great Himalayan earthquake may be inevitable, but the scale of its impact is not. Through preparation and cooperation, the region can turn a looming tragedy into a moment of resilience and recovery.